What are you doing up there? I guess I'm just procrastinating. See, I have like, I have like this brand deal, like this is a sponsored video, I have this brand deal, and, and like this is really important, and I've been procrastinating this for like two weeks, procrastinating. Procrastination is dangerous. Procrastination poisons productivity. Even right now, if I didn't procrastinate, I could have this job, this video done by the end of the day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get lunch. See, I, I think I spend 50% of my time procrastinating, 50% of my time not working, and then the other 50% of my time frantically working to make up for the time that I spent not working. What's for lunch? I said you want some chicken. We got chicken and then we got the dirty, the dirty pork, but this is the best. It's, uh, it's great intentions sabotage by compulsive inaction. How do you deal with procrastination? I embrace it. I go with it. What does that mean? I just wait until I can't wait anymore and then go really fast. I don't know if that advice of waiting until the last minute to do things, I don't know if that's good advice. And I, I think about I think about the times when I've made like feature films, like a movie that's taken three or four years of my life, or these huge projects and how much I've struggled with them. Because I lose focus, I lose interest, they stop, they stop being interesting to me. But then, like when I had my daily vlog, I had a deadline every single day. There was no opportunity. Within those years, there was no opportunity for me to procrastinate. And it worked. Do you see, do you see my facial hair? See how much longer my beard is now than it was in the, the previous shots? That's because I, I, it's been a week. I procrastinated this for a week. This is a movie about procrastination that I've, I've been procrastinating for a week. Oh, hey, doing just this and this, please. Baseball professional. One F. This, this is how I would describe the entirety of my professional life. It's either a state of boredom, wherein I want to do more, or, a state of burnout where I need to do less. It's never ever in this healthy place in the middle. It's, it's one extreme or the other. Sorry. These two states, these are destructive to the creative process and it's procrastination that enables these two states. So I'll procrastinate, which leads to boredom. To, to fix that, I need to, I need to do more. Which leads me to kind of burn out, and I need to remedy that by doing less. So I start to procrastinate, then I get bored. I need to fix that, so I frantically do more, and I get stuck in this vicious circle. This crazy space alien technology from Insta360 is the um, is the sponsor of this video, and I use this thing for a lot of shots uh, in, in this movie. 
See how it's following me? It's doing that by itself. So I can move over here and I can even go behind the tree and it still follows me. Very impressive. Very impressive stuff. So it's called the Insta360 Flow and at its core it is a, a three axis gimbal for, for your phone. But I've had it for a few weeks now and it's become something it's become something more for me. It's like having a cameraman that's smart and does exactly as it's told all by itself. See 99% of my videos I just shoot by myself and I'm always looking for technology or cameras or toys that help me be more efficient as like an independent filmmaker as somebody who doesn't need a camera who doesn't have a cameraman and that's exactly what this does. All right, watch this. See, uh, see how it's not recording? Watch this. So I just uh, get back, raise my hand, flashes this light at me. Now it's recording. Now I walk around and it follows me wherever I go. Even I kind of walk behind stuff. Or if I come over here and I hide or if I get totally close up, and then when I'm done, just kind of raise my hand and uh, look at it, stopped, stopped recording. Kind of amazing. It's a little tiny one person camera crew. You know, a question I get so often by up and coming creators and, and people that are new to YouTube is what kind of camera should I use? And my feedback is always, it's not the camera, it's how you use it. And a tool like this makes a camera or your phone or whatever's in your pocket, it makes it a hundred times better. This plus the phone that you already have is like, this is a tiny little $159 camera crew. So nice work Insta360. This is now yet another piece of my like filmmaking gear that permanently lives in my backpack and makes my movies better. Um, Insta360 Flow is what it's called. It's 159 bucks. There's a link below. And I don't see procrastination as something that holds me back, but it's something I can harness to push me forward. See, I know I don't have the kind of focus that it takes to like architect a huge project and dedicate three or four years of my life to realizing, but I'm capable of something called hyper-focus, wherein if there's a project I can realize now, I could dedicate everything to it and, and, and tackle it with the kind of efficiency of a Japanese bullet train. They call it attention deficit disorder and this is dead wrong it's attention deficit advantage this is my superpower no i can't focus on my health and exercise 20 minutes a day three days a week but i've run 25 marathons i ran 70 miles last week no i don't have the focus to spend like three years on a single movie but i can make a movie today and then i can make a movie tomorrow i can do that 800 days in a row and call it a daily vlog that's that's part of that that's that's the superpower so rather than trying to bend my up brain to accommodate the world around me i just work to bend the world around me to benefit my fantastic brain and as far as as far as procrastination this is just this is a small tax a small burden a small hurdle i have to jump over in exchange for this superpower. A lot of the um, themes, ideas, and even like direct quotes in this video around ADHD and ADD, um, a lot of those were taken from an author named Jesse J. Anderson. He writes about, uh, he writes about those things and he does not a very like relatable, 
humorous way. So if, if any of this kind of stuck with you or felt familiar to you, or any of these ideas uh, discussed in, in the video, you should definitely check him out. He's got a newsletter, he's on Twitter right here. Um, brilliant guy and, and thank you Jesse for lending me your ideas for this video.